Today, we're opening one of Yu-Gi-Oh's rarest hobby boxes, and then we're opening a second one. What's up guys, we're back with another insane video and we have two hobby first edition boxes to be open today. These were sent in by JT, an ultimate member of the channel. He sent me a note. Hey Ruxin, JT here, been a long fan. Hope we can turn that GX luck around. I've also included a few packs of first ed ancient sanctuary. Hope you can pull me a Moki Moki. Nice, that's a short printed common, I believe. Otherwise, the silver stamp flame wing managed for you to give away. Keep up the hustle and excited for all the great content yet to come. Sacred beast incoming. Okay, here we go. So he sent a giveaway. Here is an upper deck silver stamp flame wingman this is the counterfeit flame wingman that caused a lot of issues i'm doing a video on this at some point all you have to do to enter that giveaway is like this video be subscribed and let jt know down below how much you appreciate this epic video he's providing for us sending in these two insanely expensive booster boxes so as he mentioned we have the two boxes and we have these ancient sanctuary first edition packs to open all right let's go ahead and crack these booster boxes this is going to be a little bit painful i don't know if we should mix these up and have the the randomness i think we just go one box at a time right let's do one box and the ancient sanctuary packs and then we'll save the second box for it next here we go let's open this up hobby first edition if you don't know what that means that means that we can pull the ultra rares and super rares as ultimate rares which means we can pull the best stuff like the sacred beast which are worth thousands of dollars in mint condition so let's hope we pull some of those for jt all right i went ahead and mixed up the packs just so we're not like mapping because usually in gx it's pretty mappable so like if you get an ultimate rare as the third pack down on one side it's gonna be an ultimate rare on the other side so we want to keep it interesting so let's see if we can pull something crazy, we want to pull those Sacred Beasts. I've never pulled a Sacred Beast in Ultra or Ulti, which is pretty amazing because there's only four Ultras and you usually get one per box. And I usually only pull the one other Ultra that is not a uh, Sacred Beast. So let's see if we can do it this time. Ant Eater Eating Ant, the Samsara, Disciple of the Forbidden Spell, Generation Shift, Bill's Frog. Oh, and an Ultimate Rare right off the bat. Demise King of Armageddon. And yes, this is not a Sacred Beast, but this is a really good card. Yeah, this is a nice pull. Let's check out the centering. It's a little bit off, but it's not too terrible. I think it's probably still nine in terms of the range, but that's still pretty nice. Let's check out the back. Quality looks really good on this card. Okay, a little bit of ulti stamping there, but overall a pretty quality card. Probably looking at a nine on this one, but right off the bat, an ultimate rare. So hopefully we have three more of these today and potentially some ultra rares as well. So usually I shuffle them right to the bottom. So this time we put them to the top. Let's see if this next one will have an ultimate rare as well. We're looking for an ultra. They're not guaranteed per box. It's kind of weird because ultimates are two per box. So you're more likely to get an ultimate in this set than you are an ultra. But we want to pull those Sacred Beast Ultras and ultis. So we got a bubble man. Ancient Gear Factory. Grass Phantom. The Machine King Prototype. We've got the Beals Frog. The Symbol of Heritage. Got to make sure we're recording over there. Sand Moth. Cyber Barrier. So we're starting off with two foils. A Cyber Barrier Dragon. This is a super rare. I had this as ultimate rare as a kid. I still have the card. So it's pretty cool and nostalgic, even though the card is not that great. But still a really nice quality card. The centering looks good. This is definitely a great candidate whenever the, the prices go down. because It's probably only a couple bucks. All right, let's see if we can pull in that Moki Moki out of Ancient Sanctuary. Guys, we're opening over 50 old school packs today. So I, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And once again, shout out to JT for sending these in to be open. If you have something epic like this you want me to open that's old school i would definitely love to do it it would be a lot of fun oh and look at that the first card well i did do the pack trick so but the first card we see moki moki this is the card he wanted it's actually a short print i believe it's worth some money um, by money, I mean like 10 bucks. So very nice vampire lady. We got an enchanted fitting room. That's a cra crazy start. First an ultimate rare, then the Moki Moki he wanted. Emissary of the Afterlife, Micro Ray, Disc Fighter, Soul Reversal, Stone Statue of the Aztecs, another super rare. So we're pulling foils like everywhere. So far, every pack has been a foil. That can't continue because it's a booster box. Unless it's an error, that'd be pretty cool. Super rare. Does it have some foil shift? A little tiny bit. Back has a little bit of scuffing on it, so that's not going to get a 10. But that's still a really cool super rare to grab. Moki Moki, we need to sleeve that one up as well. What an amazing start to a long video. So hope you guys are sitting back, relaxing this Saturday, enjoying the long epicness of this video because this is going to be a pretty crazy one. I'm excited. I'm hoping we pull a Sacred Beast. That could be pretty amazing. Let's go. We've got a Malice Ascendant, Attack Reflector Unit, Ancient Gear Cannon, Saber Beetle, Full Salvo, Magnet Circle Level 2, Ancient Gear, Princess Pikaru, and the Photon Generator. Princess Pikaru, our first regular rare out of like four packs. So that's pretty crazy. Let's see if we can step it up to a Sacred Beast ulti. Okay, this one is not ripping very well. There we go. We don't want to damage any cards if we get an ultimate rare, especially. 
All right, let's go. We have the Hero Kid, Trail of the Princesses, Ancient Gear Factory, the Sam Sarah, Goki Pond. This is like a 60 card set, I think. So you're going to see a lot of the same commons as we go into the world. Tinkabushi in. This is the Wild Heart knockoff guy. Karmaka. Well, I always forget this is in here. This is such a good card in Duel Links for a long time. Miracle Kids. It probably still is good. I just haven't played in a while. Still going. I can't believe we're opening two booster boxes. He told me he was sending them. He told me he bought two. And then he was sending them, and I thought he meant he was sending one, but he meant he was sending both because he wanted to double down and get that those ultimate rares. So when I got the box and opened it up, I was like, we're opening both? He's like, yep. I was like, all right, let's do this. Let's hope we... Demise is pretty cool, so it's already a good start on the ultimate rares. Let's hope we can get another one that's really cool. Death Frog, Full Salvo, Beals Frog, Chain Thrasher, Tinkabee Doshian, Memory Crusher, and the Silent Insect. Next one. Shadow of Infinity. All right, come on. Let's do this. Let's pull it. Let's get something amazing. We've already gotten something amazing, but we're, we're still looking for more because there's a lot left in this box. Attack reflector unit. That's when we can get our cyber barrier dragon out. The gear cannon. We've got the grass phantom, the goki pond, the samsara, chain thrasher, generation shift. Karma cut again. We're going to play set of those and malice ascendant. That's actually pretty good. We've got two so far. One more for the play set to use in dual links. Gonna load his cards into Duel Links with the code on the bottom. Just kidding, you can't do that. If you could, it'd be amazing. All right, maybe they'll do that with Master Duel or something at some point. Probably not. Probably not, because they haven't done anything with Master Duel. We got a DD guy. This was a couple bucks for a while. I don't know if it still is. Trial of the Princesses, the Hero Kid, the Tinkabito Shein, the Ancient Gear Drill, Generation Shift, Saber Beetle, Memory Crusher. The memory will be crushed and success probability zero. Let's hope that that is not accurate. We want the probability to be 100%. Next pack, guys. We are on the first booster box. Next after this, I guess we'll do another Ancient Sanctuary because we've got, I think, four of those left. There's like five total. Let's go. Shout out to JT for an epic opening. Already started off really good. We got the Silent Insect, the Death Frog, Photon Generator Unit, the Ancient Gear, Full Salvo, Tinkabito Shein, End of the World. Divine Dragon Excelion, and next to be lost. Very nice, the Excelion. Back to Ancient Sanctuary. Let's go. So far, we already pulled the Moki Moki. So now, what do we want? Dark Magic Attack, um, Burst Stream of Destruction, or a White Lightning, or whatever it's called. Is it? No, it's Burst Stream of Destruction. White Lightning's the anime version. Vampire Lady. We got the Enchanting Fitting Room. All right, the Sand Gambler, the Micro Ray, Disc Fighter, White Magician, Pikaru. Soul Reversal, and the double cost, and we get a double tribute for darks, I believe. Yeah, very useful. That way you can get your Dark Magician out very easily, you know what I'm saying? Crazy card, crazy card, because you always want that two tribute Dark Magician in your deck. I say that, and I have a Dark Magician deck in the current meta, so <laughs> can't say too much. Let's go. What can we pull? Ancient Gear Cannon, Hero Heart, Anteater Eating Ant, the Machine King Prototype, Full Salvo, Bill's Frog, Chain Thrasher, Oh, the BES covered core. All right. This is not an ulti that we want, but that's okay. Don't fret. We still have another box. And uh, I'm guessing we won't get another ulti from this box, but we still can get that ultra sacred beast. We could be wrong though. We'll see. I'm hoping for it. We've already pulled both ultis. Maybe next time we don't shuffle them. I don't know. The problem is then it's like you kind of know when it's coming. Maybe we'll shuffle the sides. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll switch it up a little bit. Trial of the Princesses, we got an Ancient Gear Factory, Ant Eater Eating Ant, Super Junior Confrontation, Saber Beetle, Magnet Circle, we got Disciple of the Fruit and Spell, the Treeborn Frog, oh, it's such a cool card. It's a nice ulti, but that's only in retail boxes. Okay, we definitely didn't give this enough time. Let's go back and check this guy out. Ooh, very nice. Okay, that card's pretty sick. Very good condition on the. I feel like it's better condition on this card. The centering is about the same, though, so it's probably not going to get a 10, but still really nice. Yeah, we got to check that out. I mean, it's an ulti. We got to respect it a little bit. Keep going with the first box. First box, uh, I would say pretty decent with the demise. Um, BES is not one you want, but it, we got one card that you would probably want, so that's pretty good. Let's see. Attack Reflector unit. We got the Grass Phantom. We got the DD Guide. Magnet Circle. Ancient Gear. Sam Sarah. Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. Malfunction. No. Almost halfway done with the first box, guys. Yeah, we still have a lot of packs left, so don't worry. There is still much to come. Much shall be pulled in this opening. And I hope it's good stuff that we're pulling. Trial of the Princesses. Miracle Kids. Parasite. Parasitic. Tricky. Tiki. Shein. Man, that's difficult. End of the World. Goki Pond. Sam Sarah. Adhesive Explosive and Ancient Gear Factory. So we're on to the next pack. That's okay. Just a regular rare. We're going to keep chugging. We're looking for that ultimate rare. K 
Can we get that ultimate rare or that ultra rare sacred beast? I believe we can do it. We got a Tiki. Which one would you guys want to see the most? Uriah, Raviel, or Haman? Let me know in the comments. Hero Heart, which one's your favorite? Gear Drill, Beals Frog, Saber Beetle, Full Salvo, Option Hunter, and the Miracle Kids. Okay, we are officially one quarter of the way through the boxes. One quarter of the way. Not bad. We've still got a lot to go. So far, we've pulled what? A couple supers and a couple ultis. So we should have three foils left if we got the ultra rare, which you don't always get, but hopefully we do. Parasitic Tiki. Success probability zero. The Hero Heart. Magnet Circle level two. Sand Moth. Super Junior Confrontation. Disciple the Forbidden Spell. Chainsaw Insect and the Miracle Kids. Chainsaw Insect's kind of a crazy card at 2400 attack. Next pack. I believe that this will be a good one. Let's do this. Can we pull the Ultra Rare? I believe. We've got success probability zero. The next to be lost. DD Guide. Nice. Ancient Gear Drill. The Machine King Prototype. The Super Junior Confrontation. Saber Beetle. Phantasmal Martyrs. That looked like a foil for some reason, even though I know it's a rare. This ultimate rare is really, really cool, though. To the next pack. Will this one be the card we've been searching for? One of the three cards that we've been searching for for all these years. We have never pulled one. Let's go. Ancient Gear Cannon. Hero Heart. Anteater Eating Ant. The Generation Shift. Chain Thrasher. Samsara. Goki Pond. Damage Condenser Super Rare and Attack Reflector Unit. Okay, Damage Condenser, not really one we're probably too hyped about, but it is a Super Rare. That's fine. We're just hoping for that Ultra. And this will be it. I have a good feeling. This is going to be the Ultra Rare. Do you guys have the feeling? Do you guys feel it? Ultra Rare? I'm going to go with Uriah. Ultra Rare. Here we go. Malice Ascendant. Photon Generator. Death Frog. We got the Magnet Circle Level 2. Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. Ancient Gear. We got the Full Salvo. And a Doom Dozer. This card was crazy in Ultimate for a while because of the B Troopers. That wasn't the Ultra. To the next one. I believe that we can do this. We've got another Ancient Gear. It's not a Golem. It's just an Ancient Gear with nothing else after that. We got the Bubble Man. Ancient Gear Factory. The Phantom. The Ancient Gear again. The Tinkabito Shien. The Goki Pawn. Into the World. And Cyclone Boomerang with next to be lost. Okay, just a Cyclone Boomerang. We're hoping for something better than that, maybe next time. <laughs> Here we go. We got a Sand Moth. The Moth of the Sand. It's not a Pecanio Moth, it's a Sand Moth, so eh, not too great. Maybe that's like a long lost relative. We got a Death Frog, Silent Insect. We have the Sand Moth, E, Super Junior Confrontation, Disciple of the Forbidden Spell, Symbol of Heritage, and Goblin out of the Frying Pan. I think it's time to go back to Ancient Sanctuary, switch it up. Let's see what we can pull here. Can we get something big out of Ancient Sanctuary? These packs are a lot more loose, like easier to open. Kind of weird, I don't know. I'm not really weird. That's pretty normal, I think. Blessings of the Nile for the quality control to be different. Jinjitsu, Beckoning of the Light. We got Blackfire. We got the Lakuda, Earthquake, Piranha Army. These cards feel way like, thinner. It's like the LOD cards. They felt like this. Talisman of Spell Sealing and Spirit Caller. Something about these compared to the SOI. They're much, much thinner, it feels like. So let's see if we can tell when we open these. All right, SOI. Yeah, these definitely feel more solid. DD Guide, Trial of the Princesses, The Hero Kid, End of the World, Tinkabito Shien, The Machine King Prototype, Super Junior Confrontation, and Princess Karan with a success probability zero. I'm getting nervous with that ultra rare. All right, did I shuffle it to the bottom? Is it possible? The possibility, well, it's definitely possible. And I do that quite often. So let's see if I did it this time. I think we've pulled five total foils out of this box, so there should definitely be one, maybe two more. We have Next to be Lost. We have a Silent Insect. The Death Frog. Machine King Prototype. We've got a Super Junior Confrontation. Ancient Gear Drill. Bill's Frog. And, 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 and BES Covered Core as a Super Hair. No, not the BES. Come on. Double appearance of the BES. All right, not as cool in the Super Hair, that's for sure. That leaves us with three packs in this box, but don't fret. We have a 24-pack box right after that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Whew. All right. We have Elemental Hero, Neo Bubble Man, the Tiki, the Miracle Kids, Generation Shift, Beals Frog, Ancient Gear Drill, Machine King Prototype, and Proto Cyber. That's such a cool ultimate rare as well, but that's a retail ulti, so we can't get that one. Two more packs. Do you guys think there's an ultra in this box? They're not always in here, so I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm hoping that there is one in here, but I could be off and wrong. Here we go. 
Trial of the Princess. It's so weird how ultras are so hard to pull. Miracle, we've got the Parasite Tiki with the Gear Drill, the Generation Shift, we got the Saber Beetle, Magnus Circle Level 2, and Chainsaw Insect again. It's coming down to the final pack of the first box. For JT, guys, spam in the comments that you love him and you appreciate him for sending this in. So maybe that'll give us some luck with the ultra rare. I believe that we can do it on the final pack. Let's go. Photon Generator Unit, Death Frog, Silent Insect, Chain Thrasher, Generation Shift, Sand Moth, Symbol of Heritage, and... Oh, another super! So it's a five super two ultimate box. Okay, at least it's a ruin. That's not a bad card. <sighs> no ultra rare in this one. I still have not pulled a Sacred Beast. The last box will break the curse. Box number two. We pulled pretty okay in the first box. We're hoping for even better in this one. Let's do this. Come on, please have a Sacred Beast in here, guys. This has been the curse on the channel is pulling a Sacred Beast because literally 75% of the ultra rares are Sacred Beasts, and I have yet to pull one. I've pulled two of the Cyber Laser Dragon and Instead. Let's hope we don't pull that one this time. So what we're going to do, we're not going to shuffle this time. We're just going to go to the ultimate. Then we're going to pull it out on the other side and save it for the end. If it's actually mappable. It may, may or may not be. Let's go. New fresh box. Let's pull something amazing. We've got a Malice Ascendant. Photon Generator. Death Frog. Symbol of Heritage. Sand Moth. Generation Shift. Chain Thrasher. And Adhesive Explosive. Starting it off with a rare. That's fine. On to Ancient Sanctuary. We have two more of these packs. We're going to open this one up real quick before we get back into the SOI box number two. I believe that we can pull something amazing. Let's go. The Thin Cards. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Nice. Regenerating Mummy. Weapon Change. Soul Reversal. Aswan Apparition. The Armor Break. Judgment of the Desert. And a Special Hurricane with a Fiend Scorpion. It's good that we pulled that Moki Moki early. Next pack. Let's do this. Shadow of Infinity. Come on. Give us something amazing. We want to pull something crazy, guys. Let's do this. <sighs> I'm getting nervous. We got the Ancient Gear Cannon, Hero Heart, Anteater Eating Ant, Machine King Prototype, Bill's Frog, Symbol of Heritage, Sand Moth, Option Hunter. Okay, okay, that's fine. We want to front load the rares. We want the big pulls at the end. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Don't freak out yet. Nothing to worry about. It's just a rare. Where are the Ultras? Where are the Ultras? Ultis, I'm okay. Ultis, I'm okay. Let's go. So, we're still recording. Good to, good to see. Trial of the Princesses, Miracle Kids. We've got Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. Symbol of Heritage. Machine King Prototype. We got the Beals Frog. Doom Dozer. Okay, a lot of rares at the beginning. A lot of rares at the beginning. That's totally fine. I feel like we're getting close to that first ulti, though. Because we're on, what, pack number four? Pack number five of these? Come on. Give us something good. Give us something amazing for JT. Elemental hero, Neo Bubble Man. Oh, oh, what? A random upside down card, Ancient Gear Factory. Maybe that's a good sign. Wait, is that damaged? It's literally bent. Okay, that's weird. Good thing it was just a common. Grass Phantom, Sand Moth. Super Junior Confrontation. We got the Cyber of Forbidden Spell. Symbol of Heritage. And is this our first one? Divine Dragon, Excelion. Excelion, whatever you want to say. I always pull this guy out of SOI. Super rare. Very cool. Very cool, but not what we're looking for. We've still got stuff to go. It's just a super, though, so we're not too worried about the super rare slots. Just hopefully they don't take up the ultra rare slot yet again. Because that seems to happen more often than people think. It happens a lot of the time. DD Guide, Silent Insect, Malice Ascendant, the Photon Generator Unit, the Saber Beetle, Magnus Circle Level 2, Sand Moth, and... Super Junior Confrontation. Wait. Princess Current. Wait, were there less cards in that pack? Three... No, there wasn't. It was just in a different spot that time. That was kind of weird. Okay. I think I only did three. Maybe I did four from the back right there. I can't remember. All right. Maybe it's an error box where we pull five ultimate rare Hamones or something like that. <laughs> I might have done four. Photon Generator. We got the Death Frog. Silent Insect. We got the Ancient Gear Drill. Come on. Generation Shift. I'm nervous. Saber Beetle. Magnet Circle Level 2. Phantasmal Martyrs. Oh my gosh. This is really saving them for the end. Ooh, I hope you guys are enjoying this long video, especially since we had that three minute video earlier in the week. If you guys missed that, go check it out. That was a pretty fun one. Pretty big giveaway in that video. So go check that out if you missed it after you see when we pull this epic card in this one. Come on, please pull something good. I believe success probability zero. DD guide. Believe in the heart of the cards. Maybe we need uh, Yami Yugi to help us out. Full salvo. Tinkabido Shin. And. Into the world. And. Treeborn frog and an anteater eating ant. Okay, I mean, good cards, good cards, but we're still looking for something really crazy. Last time we started off so quickly, first pack was an ultimate rare, and then, like, by now we had pulled both ultimate rares in the last box. This is completely different. So far, we've pulled none of them. Whew. 
very nerve wracking. Attack, Reflector Unit, Grass Phantom, Giddy Guide, Ancient Gear Drill, Beals Frog, Machine King Prototype, Beals Frog. Wait, two in the same box? Okay. Cyclone Boomerang. All right, two Beals Frogs in the same pack. That was interesting. All right, what are we, like, eight packs into this one? So we've got, like, two-thirds of the box left. So far, we've not pulled an ulti. We haven't pulled an ultra. We've pulled one super. So this is looking a little bit different than the first one. Let's go. Whew. Attack Reflector Unit. Ancient Gear Cannon. Hero Heart. Machine King Prototype. Super Junior Confrontation. Ancient Gear Drill. Is this the moment? Is this when it happens? Next card is when. Is that when it happens? Here we go. Frodo Cyber Dragon. Come on. Where is it? Okay. This is the ninth, 10th pack. 10th pack of the right side. 10th pack. We have not pulled anything except a super. We've got to be getting close, right? They're usually mappable, I thought. So if they're mappable, then this should be coming up. I, I Maybe not for SOI. I can't really. I know they were for EOJ that one time. Parasite Tiki. We've got success probability zero. Hero Heart. we got the end of the world. Taking Bito Shein. Machine Game Prototype. Super Junior Confrontation for like the hundredth time. And will that lead us to an epic ultimate rare malfunction? Okay, tell me this box. Oh, wait, isn't malfunctioning? There was another card back there. All right, that malfunction scaring me a little bit. It's kind of like when you pull Spirit Message L and you're like, oh no, I'm about to take an L. Is that what that's saying? Hopefully that's just making us nervous and it's not really meaning anything. Let's go. Whew. Let's go. Next to be lost. One foil pulled so far. Bubble Man. Ancient Gear Factory. Sam Sarah. Goki Pond. Into the world. Tengabito Shein. Is it the next card? Is this it? An Ancient Gear Castle. Okay. Just a super. This is not an ultimate rare. Don't panic. Just a super rare Ancient Gear Castle. Okay. Number two foil of the box. That's fine. Maybe they're all in the second half. I'm totally cool with that. Or maybe they're in this last pack. Maybe there's an ultimate. Maybe there's an ultra. Could be anything. Well, except a secret. A ghost. A collector rare. A starlight rare. Um, gold rare. Well, all that's different stuff. Let's do this, guys. Last pack on the right side. This is pack 36 out of 48 that he sent us. 36. 36 SOI. After this pack, we open the last Ancient Sanctuary, and then we finish out on the left side. Let's go. DD Guide. Trial of the Princesses. Hero Kid. There's, I'm thinking there's an oldie in this pack. We're going to see Generation Force. Chain Thrasher. Sam Sarah. Am I correct? Goki Pond. Is it the next card? Divine Dragon. Excelion. Excelion. Whatever you want to say. Ultimate Rare. I always pull this guy. This is the second time we pulled the ulti. Probably like the 10th time we pulled the Super Rare. Ultimate Rare. Pretty cool. Let's check it out. This is probably not the one we're looking for. I don't think it's too crazy in value. But it definitely looks really cool. I think it's pretty underrated in terms of like artwork. Definitely. I think it looks pretty nice. Ancient Sanctuary, guys. Ancient Sanctuary going to get us out of our funk. We started off hot, and then we kind of fell apart in terms of our pulls. Let's go. Oh, we got a four there. Let's do three. We got a Beckoning Light. We got a Vampire Lady. We got the Enchanted Fitting Room. Earthquake. Piranha Army. Human Wave Tactics. Atomic Firefly. And Ancient of Creation Venus. Okay, Jiu-Jitsu Master. That's fine. We're saving it all for the second half. There has to be a Sacred Beast in here, right? Ultra rare. Like, we got to at least get an ultra out of one out of two boxes, right? Right? Okay, so the last pack of the ulti. So we're going to see if they're actually mapped, if the ulti's in the last pack. It's because that's probability zero. Neo Bubble Man. The Parasite Tiki. Goki Pond. Into the world. Machine King Prototype. Full Salvo. Demise King of Armageddon. Super rare. All right, that's a pretty good super to get. So we got Ruin and Demise in our supers. We also got an ultimate rare version of this guy. That's pretty cool. That is not bad at all. Next pack. Next pack. Will it have something amazing? Let's go. Ultra rare, please. Silent Insect. Death Rock. Photon Generator. Machine King Prototype. Super Junior Confrontation. Engineer Drill. Beals Frog. And a Goblin out of the frying pan next to be lost. Okay, cool cards. Cool cards, but they're not the Sacred Beasts. Where are the beasts? Besides on the, the, the cover artwork of the pack, which they are there. We, we see those. Can we get a real life card? We got attack, reflector unit, grass phantom, sand moth, symbol of heritage, ancient gear, Tinkerbeetle Shien, chainsaw insect, and the hero heart. We've got a lot of chainsaw insect. We got a lot of big beaters in our deck. If you guys are enjoying the long video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this because we will hopefully be doing more stuff like this in the future. I don't know if we're ever going to open two SOI hobby boxes again, so this might be a once in a lifetime kind of thing, but hopefully similar stuff to this. So trial of the princesses. We got the anteater eating ant, the Sam Sarah, Goki Pond, end of the world, Tinkabito Shien. Oh! <laughs> Why?
It's always the cyber laser. I've pulled this ultra like four times. How is this possible? There's four ultras. I have only pulled this one. The other three are sacred beasts. <laughs> No! Okay, so at least we did get an Ultra. I love this card. Like, I think it's really cool, but it's just so annoying that it's, like, always this card instead of Sacred Beast, because it's, like, it's literally this card or Sacred Beast. That's the options when it comes to Ultras, and it's always this guy. Like, I love this card. I think it's really cool. It's a Cyber Dragon. It's just, like, why? Okay, that was just the Ultra. We still have an Ultimate to hope for. The Ultimate's the big one anyway, so if that turns out to be a Sacred Beast, all is good. All is fine. We don't care about the Ultra if we get an Ultra. Whew, miracle kids we got a parasite ticky the success probability zero that's just rubbing it in our face goki pond sam sarah chain thrasher generation shift karma cut there's our playset and hero kid this is frustrating frustrating can we pull it can we pull something ultimate rare that it's amazing we've got a neo bubble man parasite ticky miracle kids symbol of heritage sand moth i can't believe it was a laser shift Chain Thrasher and Memory Crusher. We need to crush that memory of all those cyber lasers that we pulled. Unbelievable. I've literally pulled so many of that card. It's crazy. All right. The, for like how actually rare it is to pull, I've pulled it a lot. Can we redeem ourselves for JT? Let's pull some amazing attack reflector, ancient gear cannon. Make sure to thank him in the comments for this amazing opening. Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. Symbol of Heritage. Maybe the good vibes will help us pull something amazing. Phantasmal Martyrs, that's a cool card, but it is. It does have the Sacred Beast on it, so yeah, maybe that's a good sign. It's showing us that we can pull it. I hope that that's the case. Couple more packs, like maybe five or six packs left in this total opening of over 50 packs. I think it was 53 total old school packs, so hope you guys enjoyed this. This is definitely what we built our channel on, DT Guide. We got the uh, Ancient Gear Drill, Machine King Prototype, Super Junior Confrontation, Saber Beetle, and... Cyclone Boomerang? Okay, that's one you never want to see as an Ultimate Rare in retail. We are officially down to four packs. Inside of one of these should be an Ultimate Rare. Will it be the Rare Ultimates, the Ultimate Sacred Beast that we're looking for? I sure hope so. Let's go. Let's do this. We have a next to be lost. Silent Insect. Death Frog. Generation Shift. Saber Beetle. Magnet Circle Level 2, Sand Moth, Proto Cyber Dragon. Okay, it's really saving it for the end here. Really making it crazy. I mean, if they are mappable, then I guess it's going to be in that last pack, but we don't know that for a fact yet, so it could pop up at any time. Just got to be ready for that. Hopefully, Ultimate Rare Uriah would be cool. I would love to see that. Anteater Eating Ant. We got the Bubble Man, Sam Sarah, Disciple of the Forbidden Spell, Generation Shift, Beals Frog. Princess Koran. Okay, it really is probably going to be in this last one. Two packs left. <sighs> Come on. Get us an epic ulti. We've got one pretty good ulti so far. The other... I, I guess... Excellion's okay, I guess. It's still one of the bottom ones. I would say that we really want to get a good one to even it out. Trial the Princess. Ancient Gear Factory. Bills Frog. Chain Thrasher. Tinkabito Sheehan. Ancient Gear Drill. BS Covered Core. Why do you keep showing up? Nobody wants you to be here, okay? Play set of those. So if you like BS and core stuff, then there you go. Now's where we get really nervous. The final pack. We've only pulled one ulti. Let's hope it's not some weird one ulti box because I feel like that's happened before. If it's an ultimate rare, we really want it to be a sacred beast. But at this point, any ultimate rare because it's the last pack. And if it's not, that would really suck. Let's go. Huge opening. Once again, shout out to JT for sending these out. Make sure you guys enter his giveaway for the Silver Stamp Flame Wingman. Let's go. Attack Reflector Unit. Ancient Gear Cannon. Grass Phantom. Saber Beetle. Full Sabo. Final But We need Last Pack Magic. We've had it before on the channel. Can we summon it right now? Send me your energy. Magnet Circle Level 2. Ancient Gear. It could be the next card. It could be the next card. Ancient Gear Castle. Okay, it's an ultimate rare. I do really like this card, but this is certainly not what we are looking for. Top has a little bit of a cutting issue, it seems like. You see that? That's interesting. Beautiful card, though. I mean, check out the texture on it. It's a very pretty card. Back looks... Wow, back looks incredible. All right, final ultimate rare. Once again, shout out to JT for being an ultimate member and sending these in, which was a really awesome video. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Umusha Jr. Bardic, and Anantai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, and Josh Evans. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.